While we're at it, the deal with regards to the F-16 multi-role tour jets to the Philippines caught attention as it became the main topic, especially when it was talked about by the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Rodrigo Duterte. The deal made by the United States for the Philippine military especially with regards to F-16s as well as attack helicopters, received an ire from the president, saying that this is useless, given that the country doesn't have any enemies as of the moment as well as this, showing the discontent by the administration on what is so-called frustrations on previous deals, especially on RISE, which are supposed to supply the Philippine National Police on its ear against illegal drugs. Hence, the president himself prefers light close air support aircraft and helicopters intended for counterinsurgency operations. From there alone, one may say that the multi-role fighter jet program is as good as gone. But that isn't always the case here. Given that the Horizon 2 budgeting of around PHP 300 billion was already approved where it includes the ones intended for purchasing dedicated multi-role fighters, this is an assurance that the program is still a go, unless a written memo overrides it. Meanwhile, the Secretary of Defense also assures that the project will not be retracted to Horizon 3, where the deal is for the senior OSERs at PATH to measure and determine, with the help of the people in their technical working group. The said program, presently on the planning stage, is scheduled on the latter part of the Horizon 2 which in this case, will be somewhere between 2020 and 2022, given that this horizon obtains five years for the armed forces to modernize which started earlier this year. So, the chance given here is still up for grabs that a supplier like Lockheed Martin, Saab, or even the Russian aircraft corporation Mikoy and Sukhoi may take. With them presenting their deals with sweeteners which will be discussed also in this article, may get this big ticket acquisition project of the Philippine Air Force as interesting as it can be. This airspace industry is relatively known across the world as being one of the main suppliers for the U.S. armed forces in its needs, as them being a nation stands on their national interest and principles, where the company's products are some of the most sophisticated and most capable in their arsenal. At present, the Philippine Air Force recently aired by the United States these F-16s that is the latest, newly built one on the market, which is the F-16V, Viper, Block 70 70 seconds. This may go with the option of U.S. Foreign Military Financing or FMF, in which is a kind of loan or grant, which may help the Philippines minimize its burden on capital outlay, if this is to be implemented. Just to take note once again people, the Philippine Air Force obtains funds under the Horizon 2, with the contract price of PHP 61,200,000.00, calling for 12 units of multi-role TERS of the local context, is equated to 1, 1, squadron. If FMF is to be implemented in the process, this allocated fund may get to other projects, such as the attack helicopter program, or to fund an additional squadron of MRFs, which makes the Air Force more capable. Such a decision based on the scenario is for the ranking OSERs of the Air Force and its technical working group to determine.
Throughout history, the Philippine Air Force was already aired these F-16s by the United States since the RSTAFP modernization process through the original RA-7898 took place in the 1990s. It was worth taking note that the United States aired those embargoed F-16 ABS, which were intended to Pakistan, in which the Philippines at that time prefers the then latest Block CD versions. The original MRF program of the 1990s aired a wide range of multi-role turjets, ranging from MiG-29s to F-18s, as well as Israeli KFIRs and JAWS-29 Gryphon. However, the armed forces at that time simply ended up obtaining F-5 jets in service at that time, with additional units purchased for additional capability and spare parts, where they were decommissioned altogether in 2005, rendering a step back to the capabilities of the Philippine Air Force, with AS-211 ling the role for air interdiction. The airs for F-16 fighter jets went into topic once again way back year 2010-2011, when the then-president Noynoy Aquino assumes the post as the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Philippines. The request goes in a form that 12 used surpluses F-16 CD variant shall be used in the light of Chinese hegemony over the region, as they are about to build their enhanced outposts on their artificial islands at that time.